10 Ancient Mysteries That Will Blow Your Mind Hello and welcome to Science Deli, the channel where we explore the fascinating world of science and history. In today's video, we are going to take you on a journey across the globe and show you 10 mysterious prehistoric sites that will blow your mind. These sites are so old and mysterious that even experts don't have all the answers. Are you ready to discover some of the secrets of the past? Let's go! 1. Carnic Stones, France Our first stop is in France, where we find the Carnic Stones, a collection of over 3,000 megaliths that date back to the Neolithic period, between 4,500 and 2,000 BC. These stones are arranged in rows, circles, and other shapes, and some of them weigh up to 350 tons. The purpose and meaning of these stones are still unknown, but some theories suggest that they were used for astronomical, religious, or ceremonial purposes. Some people even believe that they have magical or supernatural powers. 2. The Unfinished Obelisk of Aswan, Egypt Next, we travel to Egypt, where we find the Unfinished Obelisk of Aswan, a massive stone monument that was never completed. This obelisk was carved out of a single piece of granite and would have been the largest obelisk ever erected, measuring 42 meters in height and weighing 1,200 tons. However, the project was abandoned when cracks appeared in the stone, leaving the obelisk attached to the bedrock. The reason why the ancient Egyptians wanted to build such a colossal obelisk and how they planned to transport it are still mysteries. 3. Antiquira, Spain Our third destination is in Spain, where we find the Antiquira Dolmens, a group of five megalithic monuments that date back to the Bronze Age, between 3000 and 2000 BC. These dolmens are made of large stone slabs that form chambers and corridors, covered by mounds of earth or stone. They were used as burial sites, but also as places of worship and ritual. The most impressive of these dolmens is the Menga Dolmen, which has a 25-meter long corridor and a 6-meter high chamber, with a huge stone slab weighing 180 tons at the entrance. 4. Gigiantia, Malta Next, we head to the island of Malta, where we find the Gigiantia temples, the oldest freestanding structures in the world, dating back to the 4th millennium BC. These temples are made of massive limestone blocks, some of which weigh over 50 tons. They have a cloverleaf-shaped plan, with a central corridor and two or three apses on each side. They were dedicated to a fertility goddess, and many figurines and statues of female deities have been found inside. The name Gigiantia means, giantess, in Maltese, and legend has it that the temples were built by a giantess who carried the stones in her apron. 5. Stone Spheres, Costa Rica Our fifth stop is in Costa Rica, where we find the Stone Spheres, a collection of over 300 spherical stones that range in size from a few centimeters to over 2 meters in diameter. They are made of different types of rock, such as limestone, sandstone, and granite, and some of them weigh up to 16 tons. They are scattered across the southern part of the country, and some of them are aligned with the cardinal directions or astronomical phenomena. The origin and purpose of these spheres are still unknown, but some theories suggest that they were used as markers, symbols, or ritual objects. 6. The Olmec Heads, Mexico Next, we travel to Mexico, where we find the Olmec Heads, a series of 17 colossal stone sculptures that depict the faces of rulers or warriors of the Olmec civilization, the oldest known civilization in Mesoamerica. These heads date back to the second millennium BC and are carved out of basalt boulders that were transported from distant quarries. They have distinctive features, such as large eyes, flat noses, and thick lips, and some of them wear helmets or headdresses. The meaning and function of these heads are still debated, but some scholars believe that they were used as monuments, portraits, or trophies. 7. Yonaguni Monument, Japan Our seventh destination is in Japan, where we find the Yonaguni Monument, a submerged rock formation that lies off the coast of the Yonaguni Island. This formation consists of several terraces, platforms, steps, and pillars, that resemble a man-made structure. It measures 150 meters in length and 27 meters in height, and some parts of it are covered by carvings and symbols. The age and origin of this monument are still controversial, but some researchers claim that it is a remnant of an ancient civilization that existed before the last ice age, when the sea level was lower. 8. Gulf of Cambay, India Next, we head to India, where we find the Gulf of Cambay, a bay of the Arabian Sea that lies off the coast of Gujarat. This bay is the site of a remarkable discovery that was made in 2001, 
when a team of marine archaeologists found evidence of a submerged city that dates back to the 3rd millennium BC. This city covers an area of 9 kilometers by 2 kilometers and has features such as walls, buildings, streets, and artifacts. The city is believed to be part of the Harappan civilization, one of the oldest civilizations in the world, and may have been destroyed by a massive flood or earthquake. 9. Moai, Easter Island Our ninth stop is on Easter Island, a remote island in the Pacific Ocean that is famous for its Moai, giant stone statues that represent the ancestors of the native people. These statues date back to the 13th to 16th centuries AD and are carved out of volcanic rock. They have elongated heads, prominent noses, and heavy brows, and some of them wear red hats or topknots. They are scattered across the island, and some of them are erected on platforms called AHU. The mystery of these statues is how they were transported and erected, as some of them weigh up to 86 tons and are located several kilometers away from the quarry. 10. Gobekli Tepe, Turkey Our final destination is in Turkey, where we find Gobekli Tepe, the oldest known temple in the world, dating back to the 10th millennium BC. This temple consists of several circular enclosures, each containing a pair of T-shaped pillars that are surrounded by smaller pillars. The pillars are decorated with carvings of animals, symbols, and abstract patterns. The temple was deliberately buried around the 8th millennium BC, and its function and meaning are still unknown. Some scholars suggest that it was a place of worship, ritual, or astronomy, and that it may have played a role in the transition from hunting and gathering to agriculture and civilization. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about these amazing prehistoric sites. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching Science Deli, and we'll see you next time.